How's it going everyone? Devin from Debo's Fishing and today we're going to talk about reducing pain. When you get your airbrush all set up and you're ready to paint, the good thing about the Bait Blast line of paints from Do It is they come ready to spray, ready to use right out of the bottle with the exception of pearlized paints. And these have some extra added particulates in them, you know, the glitter that gives it that kind of sheen to it, uh, which makes the paint a little bit thicker. And that's, uh, you know, across the industry, it's just a little bit thicker of a paint. So you'll have to reduce that uh, with something like this, a thinner, to make that easier to spray through the gun. Because as we talked about, you know, these dual stage guns, it's got air and then you pull it back and that allows the needle to move and the air pushes the paint out. So it has to be thin enough to go through there and depending on the airbrush that you have, uh, it can be more or less important. So some of these will come with like a 0.5 needle in it, uh, which is a larger needle, more paint can move through that hole. Uh, but if you've got a smaller uh, needle inside your airbrush, like a 0.2, for doing like thinner lines and detail work, uh, it's going to be harder to get a thick paint through there. So uh, in that instance, you would definitely have to thin it down. So it's really easy to do. Let's take a look and show you how it's done. So you can see right out of the bottle, this paint already has a good consistency. It's not too terribly thick. And if you're using an airbrush with a bigger needle, 0.5 or even like a 0.35 like I've got in here, uh, it's gonna spray completely fine. You might have to turn your pressure up a little bit, but if you wanna do more detail work or spray on a lower pressure, you're gonna have to thin this out a little bit. And we'll show you what to do here. A lot of times uh, when you hear about this or read about it online, you're gonna see a ratio. So like five to one or 10 to one, something like that. And that just means the drops of paint. So if it's a 10 to one, I've got 10 drops of paint in here for every one drop of my reducer, my thinner. Uh, and that's kind of up to you. A, a good, I guess, way that I look at the paint in the cup is when it gets to the consistency of like a whole milk. So when you're moving around in there, it still kind of leaves a layer, but you know, decently thick, that's what you're looking for. You don't want it to be water where you move this around and it doesn't leave uh, any sort of coating. You know, you've got it a little bit too thin. Get some paint in here and I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna go to any specific ratio or anything, but you can see here the, the consistency. Notice how it just barely drops off there. And it kind of leaves that little like hanging part. I don't know what you call that, but that's the consistency out of the bottle. And you'll see what this will do is, I'm gonna add just a little bit of reducer to it. Not very much, get that all mixed around in here and you'll see how this will change the consistency of the paint. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see here, it's just kind of sticking to the edge of this, but see how I'm not, it's not coming off in like big drips and hanging on there. It's pretty watery and you can see inside the cup, again, pretty close to that consistency of whole milk and that's kind of what you're looking for. So now that I've got this mixed up in here, I'm gonna load this into the gun and spray just a little bit just so you can see what this looks like coming out of the air gun. And again, this is a gravity fed gun, so the paint's just gonna slide through here. I've got air, and as you can see, there's not any paint coming out. But as I hold this down, and one thing you always want to do is check your paint on something else before you touch your lure, because let's say I've got three layers of paint on here and I'm putting a new paint in, the last thing you wanna do is pull back and it's too thin or something and mess up your paint job. So I usually have a piece of paper handy and ready. If you don't have paper, you can use the back of your glove just like this. See how thin that is? It doesn't come out in big globs. It's a real tiny, thin mist. Those real small particles allows you to get a lot of detail on your bait. So you can see here, nothing on this, no paint. I'm just gonna keep the paint going, move them back and forth and put a real thin layer on here. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have a, a, a base coat on here, you know, like a white primer. But you can see in the light, look at that pearl. And this is a perfect way to get real small, real tiny little additions to your bait that really make it pop. It's just something different that you don't see on a lot of the manufactured stuff. A real thin layer like that can really add a lot of detail. 